The internet is a strange place with strange videos, strange internet users, and of course strange and unsettling pieces of media. My last video I talked about a YouTuber paying $50,000 for a, um, let's just say a very spicy animated video. Ugh. But recently I found something that's been trending on TikTok out of all places, and it's been flooding my For You page for the past couple of days. It's not anything spicy like the last topic from my last video, but it's quite disturbing and a little unsettling the more you go into it. The TikTok videos that I'm of course talking about are the TikTok Infection AU videos, more specifically the My Little Pony Infection videos. Huh, My Little Pony, <laughs> it can't be that scary. I mean, come on, you're a tight, cute little po- <laughs> What's wrong with people? Uh, yeah, so there's this trend going around that originally started from the My Little Pony fandom, out of all things, <laughs> where they take characters from the show like My Little Pony and create a twisted, dark, and zombie-like version of that said character, as if they were infected from a virus, and kind of make their own AU or alternate universe out of it. So if you've been on the internet for more than five seconds, you will know that the My Little Pony community and fandom is no stranger to horror, which might shock a few who may not know a lot about this fandom, but yeah, these sort of like horror elements have been in the fandom for years now, with tons of creepypasta stories based around My Little Pony, unsettling and disturbing fan art, and of course, fan animations. One of the more popular examples that I could think of comes from Hot Diggity Demon's video titled Shed.mov, in which Fluttershy is a serial killer in this video and uses her shed to murder her victims. What the actual f what's the deal with bronies? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, MLP horror has been going on for years as adult fans of the show, also known as bronies, have kind of had their own community where they can talk about the show, what they like about it, who their favorite ponies are, and of course, make disturbing horror stories based around the show. And of course, just recently, this side of the fandom has introduced the MLP Infection AU to the world, traumatizing the people of TikTok. So what are these videos, and why do we keep seeing them on TikTok? Now with these videos, there isn't much to explain about it, but essentially these videos center around My Little Pony, obviously, and how there's a mysterious virus that infects the ponies in the world as the virus spreads from pony to pony. Now different stories and AUs that have come out go for this concept, but they usually tell it in a little bit of a different way. Some of them have different names for the viruses and different symptoms that the ponies go through when they get infected by it, and some AUs actually try to stay canon to the original show, which is, which is kind of insane, but pretty cool nonetheless, I like that. Now I was digging through TikTok trying to find one of the first videos that were made using this infection horror format and the one account that I found that many say started this trend and that many in the fandom get their inspiration from is by the user Osushat from TikTok and their MLP infection AU series titled Pestrabia. Hopefully I pronounced that virus name rights. <laughs> now this AU explains that there is a virus called Pestrabia, which is a disease that has taken out many ponies from the outbreak. The virus starts off as a cold and over time becomes worse, causing change in behavior, incoherent speech, bone visibility, and appearance disformalities. <laughs> So pretty much the virus or parasite eats away at the pony until it dies. Yeah, it's uh, pretty f***ed up and disturbing. Of course, with these videos, we get artwork and fan edits from the show of the characters experiencing this virus. And my god, these pieces are so detailed and very specific as to what the virus does to the ponies. And then of course, you get your strange storylines from each of the ponies that live in this world. But my god, the artwork that they made for it. Holy crap, it's disturbing. These TikTok posts are mainly told through these like slideshow photo videos, and at times told through character charts that show the character statuses, their inventory, information about the character, and what happened to them. Now ever since Osushat made these posts, it got traction from the community and many people on TikTok got inspired to create their own AUs out of this infection story format. Now another series and AU that has gotten a lot of traction and is one of, if not the most popular alternate universes out there on TikTok at the moment. And the one that I've been seeing on TikTok recently is from the user etc. etc. 
or Chloe. It's easier to say just Chloe. Now, from what I've seen from it and what others have told me about this infection, AU, is that it takes inspiration from the actual show and uses a disease from the season seven episode, Sweets of Snake Oil, where it mentions a disease called Swamp Fever in which it causes a pony to gain orange spots all over its body, becomes prone to confusion, and in the end, it transforms into a tree, which it carries disease-spreading flowers. And that's from the actual kids show. Why, what, what the f why does this kids show have so much terrifying concepts to it? Holy sh Back to the infection AU. The virus does pretty similar things to the ponies except way, way worse, okay? They become extremely thirsty and experience brain fog. Now over time it worsens and they experience extreme discomfort, obviously. The body reacts to it and becomes deformed and twisted. The virus completely takes over the body and brain. Body becomes hollow on the inside and even more deformed and rotten. Roots and branches start to form out of the body and in the end becomes a tree taking an already frightening concept from the show and making it into something way more terrifying and disturbing. <sighs> Bronies, I tell ya. Now these videos from this account are probably my favorite AU that was made based around this infection concept and idea. There's just something really terrifying about the concept of the virus. Not just that, but the damn animation and videos that were made about this. Holy sh**. Bro, they are so unsettling and terrifying. Most of these videos you see the ponies becoming more and more deformed as the virus, you know, continues to take over the body. One of the videos shows the tree growing out of its mouth and its legs being planted into the dirt as they, as the legs turn into roots. So many of these videos also have these disturbing and eerie groaning and screaming noises playing throughout. And it's just really terrifying and scary. Not just that, but the way that it's made like it's a lost footage analog horror type film gives these videos more of an eerie feeling to them. I love it. It's terrifying. It's disturbing. Now there's been many more of these My Little Pony Infection AUs that have been made and posted on TikTok and throughout the internet. You will find hundreds if not thousands of these videos on the site. It's gotten so big that people have been making infection AUs on, get this, Spongebob Squarepants. Yeah. Oh, and Young Sheldon. Young Sheldon Infection AU videos. I guess MLP isn't the only one getting infection treatments. <laughs> In conclusion, the My Little Pony fandom is insanely creative, but also kind of crazy. In a good way though. I'm an absolute fan of these sort of like obscure creative videos, and I'm excited to see more of them in the near future. <sighs> you know, if only someone could create a Sangobite infection AU, where the virus causes people to turn into me when they get infected. Can you imagine like millions of me's running around like little minions? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video.